This is a demo of the RCAT wall wizard for Revit. Uh, here I have a, a simple project with a few walls, and we're going to configure one of these walls with manufacturer's data. The first thing we do is we select the wall, and then we go to the add-ins tab, which is where the plugin would be installed. This is 2010, but um, it'll vary slightly depending on your version of Revit. Uh, once you have the wall that you'd like to configure selected, click on the system wizard icon. And the first time you do this in a new project, you're going to transfer project standards. And what it's doing right now is it's going to uh, download the standards file from rcat.com and place it on your computer. And that's basically what it's telling you right here. And then it says that you're going to want to transfer um, project standards. So we'll go out to Manage, Transfer Project Standards, and this will just take a few seconds. And once it's done, then we'll be able to configure the wall. Okay, it's done. We select the wall. We go back to Add-ins, System Wizard, and up will come this screen. This screen is um, a set of uh, default wall types that you can pick from, um, real basic types. Uh, over time, this screen will will change and evolve um, based on your input. What you can do is, I know I want an interior wall with one hour fire rating. Uh, and a nice little feature here, if you if you start clicking on these cells, it'll start highlighting them, so you can you can visually see that these two rows meet my needs. Uh, when you find the row that uh, that you're looking for, you just click on the link right there, and that will bring you to the wizard. I'll explain uh, the portions of the screen here. Up here, um, you can click here to send us a comment and how we can approve the, uh, the wizard for you guys. Uh, you can reset the wizard to your current uh, wall type that you selected, or you can pick a different wall type. Um, up here, if you'd like uh, the manufacturers that you specify in your wall to help you out with specifications or, uh, or a sales rep or whatever you might need, um, fill in your project information up here and they'll help you out. Um, right up here, uh, you've got the name of the wall, the wall function, uh, and the, the dynamic thickness of the wall. Uh, this will change as you configure your wall. Oh, uh, you can also edit this any way you'd like. Um, over here are all the attributes of the uh, current wall. Uh, and you can set these up any way you like, uh, including the name here, which you can edit. Um, now, all these attributes and whatnot are for the currently selected wall. In this case, it's gypsum. Um, here is the graphic representation of the wall, and here is um, where you can drag uh, new layers onto your wall from this palette down here. Uh, and in here, you can move the layers around any way you like. Whoops and configure the wall just the way you need it. Um, now we'll, we'll configure this uh, brick layer with Belden, FBA, etc. Okay, so that's the way we, we like our wall. Actually, let's make those metal studs from telling. Uh, there we go. Uh, now that we have the wall configured the way we like, we just hit this little button, and that will send all the data back to Revit and, and set that wall up uh, with all the data that we that we wanted, um, now we can um, view the parameters here. And if we drill into the structure of the wall, you can see the layers that we set up, uh, including the metal studs that we changed and the building brick. And here it'll set up a surface pattern and um, and a color of the layer, as well as attributes and values of data that you may need, like links to specifications, CAD details, and other performance data. That is pretty much it. Um, please give it a try and, um, and send us comments and suggestions you have on how we can improve this tool. Thanks very much.